Hi, VC, it's Aaron, Mitha Alamir. Today I'm counting down my top 25 albums of 1994. And my only stipulation on this is I have to own the album on one form of physical copy or another. So, you know, vinyl, CDs, cassettes, as long as I have it on one of those things, I will put it on my list if it's one of my top 25. And um, I'll get started here. It's another really good year here. And amazingly, I have the majority of these on vinyl. I know the last year I was really took a dive on my vinyl. I only had like 11 or 12 of them, maybe something like that. And so I have a lot more on vinyl this year, which is really cool. And it's a really good year. It, you know, it's kind of past my uh, sweet spot of like the 93, you know, 87 to 93 is probably my favorite years of music. And you know, every, everything from the mid 60s to, to there is excellent. So I'll get started here. And you know, this is my list of what I like, my top favorite 25 that I own. So at number 25, I have R.L. Burnside with Too Bad Jim. Really good blues record here. I really love blues. So um, there we go, R.L. Burnside. I was surprised this was actually 1994. I thought it was an older record. So that was pretty cool. Up at number 24, I have a band called Sugar with File Under Easy Listening. Really good band. They kind of remind me of, say, if you were to take... Uh, the Foo Fighters and Weezer kind of mix them up, but give them a little more of a raw edge. It's kind of what they sound like. Pretty good album here. I like this one. Okay, at number 23. And a lot of people absolutely love this record. I like it. And I think it's, I don't think it's one of the stronger unplugged records that was put out at this time. But a lot of people think it's the best thing ever ever made. But to me, it's a really good record, but not an excellent record. This is a Nirvana Unplugged in New York. And, you know, I just, I've always had a problem with Kurt Cobain's vocals. I don't really like them that much. But the music has grown on me over the years. I had never liked Nirvana when they were first out. I've come to appreciate them. So it makes my list at number 23. You know, it's got some good stuff on here, too. Um, there's the track list. You know, everyone knows this record. I, I really prefer the Alice in Chains and Kiss and Tesla, they're unplugged, and a couple others, a lot a lot more than Nirvana. But it's just a decent record. Pearl Jam I like better. And uh, number 22, this is a uh, punk record. No effects with Punk and Drublick. Pretty good record here. Um, not my favorite style of punk, but I like it a lot. You know, I, I prefer the, like, the late 70s, early 70s, 80s punk, but this is still a pretty good record here. At number 21, an amazing album. Probably the mellowest record on my list. This is Grace by Jeff Buckley. Really good album. My friend Jeff Witcher got me into this, and I've been spinning it quite a bit. I really like the last two songs on the album the best, I think, Eternal Life and Dream Brother. I think it finished it off strong. A little more rocking and uh, almost some grunge elements in that, which I really appreciate. But really good album here. At number 20, and this was a monstrous album when it was out. My friend's band played a few songs from this and their live set, like two of them, I think, from this album. This is The Offspring with Smash. Really good album. Love this album. You know, it's got um, Come Out and Play, Keep Them Separated, that song on here. Self-Esteem is on here. Um, but it's a good, solid album all the way through. Number 19, The Stone Temple Pilots with Purple. Another really good, solid album by them. My favorites are their third and first. This is a really good one too, though. Had some big hits off it. You know, Vaseline, a few others. I think Vaseline was on this. I know, uh, let me see. Yeah, Vaseline, Interstate Love Song. All those songs were played to death back when this was out. And uh, I, I actually prefer the first and third a little better than this one, but this is a good, solid record too. I like the Stone Temple Pilots. Good album there. Okay, at number 18, first of my three cassettes I have here. And I actually like this album quite a bit. This is uh, Veruca Salt with American Thighs. Really good band. Had uh, I think there were two sisters that played guitar and sung, and they were a good, um, you know, really good alternative band. Uh, Seether was on here. I love that song. Uh, this is a good solid album all the way through. Really like this one. At number 17, this is a great, great album. This is uh, Wallflowers by Tom Petty. Love this album. The more I hear it, the more I like it. I'm so glad I got the reissue of it. Um, got the uh, 
three disc reissue and it sounds amazing and this is a great album love tom petty killer stuff there number 16 really good album here this is a2 this is arcade second record and arcade is basically the the singer for rat stephen Percy. he uh took a break from rat did this i believe fred curry was on drones from cinderella really good album i really love the song the move was excellent get off my back I actually uh, saw these guys live. My friend's band opened up for them. That was a really cool, really cool night. Cool stuff here. The Move. Check out the song, The Move. Really good one. Okay, at number 15. The fourth and final album from a great band. This is Cinderella with Still Climbing. Only way I have it is on cassette. I've had this since uh, it was released. Love this album. of Hot and Bothered on here. A lot of great songs. Uh, probably my least favorite of the four Cinderella, but still a really killer record. I love this. Love Cinderella. Great band. Okay, at number um, 14. This is an amazing record. All over the place musically. Very underrated. Your Filthy Little Mouth from David Lee Roth. And there's like everything from reggae to a country song to just rockers to you know, pop rock, all kinds of, David Lee Roth, his most versatile album he ever did. Uh, Cheating Heart Cafe he did with Travis Tritt's actually pretty good, I actually like that. Uh, She's got She's My Machine was kind of a hit. Your Breathing It is really like an urban song. Um, Sunburn, I love that song. Land's Edge, title song. We got some reggae on here with Your Breathing It. Really good album, I like this album a lot. I think it's very underrated, killer album there. Okay, at number 13. An amazing album, Vitology from Pearl Jam. Their third album, and this is one of their best. Absolutely love this record. Uh, spin, the, uh, spin the Black Circles on here, of course. Um, great stuff from Pearl Jam. This is their last amazing, well, I think No Code was really, really good too. And then they kind of went down a little bit, but they've had some really great albums lately. But I, I like all their albums, but this is the last really superb album by them, I think. Although No Code's really close. Okay, at number 12, and this album, it's one of my grails on vinyl, and they put it out a while ago, now it goes for ridiculous amounts of money, even the reissue they just did. This is Peter Chris with Cap Number One, and I love this album. Peter Chris does half the vocals, he has another singer do vocals, and this is, this is really the album he should have made for his Kiss solo record. I mean, it's rocking, it still sounds like Peter Chris. got some killer stuff on here. Bad People Burn in Hell, I love that song. You know, all, all the songs are good on this. Bat, Blue Moon Over Brooklyn, love that one. Excellent, excellent album here. I love this. Okay, at number 11. Um, one, two, three, fourth album. Fifth album, if you count their acoustic one, by a great man, Bust a Nut from Tesla. Very underrated Tesla album here. I love this one. This is an amazing, really, really underrated. Um, you know, it's got Shine Away on here. She Wants, She Want, you know, Mama's uh, Fool. Really great stuff, uh, Wonderful World. They do a song called The Games People Play. It's a Joe, Joe South song, really good. Amazing record, I love this one. Need to find out on vinyl too if, I, if they did release it, I'm not sure. So now I'm up to my top 10. All these albums are classics to me. I absolutely love every one of them. And I'm starting off with Danzig 4. Love this album. I don't like it quite as much as the first three, but it's really close. This is a great, great album from Danzig. And, um, you know, it's, his vocals are amazing on here. Great musicianship, amazing songs. This is right up there with the first three. It's just really close. Amazing. If you don't know that album, check that one out. At number nine, my last cassette here. Need to get this on vinyl if they'll ever release it. Tough with Fist First. I like it it's really close to as much as their first album. This is really good. Tied to the Bells is killer. Uh, Nogs We Trust, Better Off Dead. Every song, Electric Church is killer. Uh, they do have a, a cover version of 16 Tons on here that's really cool. Tough, Fist First. Excellent, excellent album. Number eight. Another amazing EP from one of my favorite bands, Jar of Flies from Alice in Chains. And you know, this has no excuses and Nutshell and Rotten Apple and I Stay Away, Whale and Wasp, great album. I love uh, Alice in Chains. This is uh, right, you know, right after Dirt, they put this out, I believe, and it's just amazing. 
all their stuff with Lane Staley is amazing. I like their other uh, albums as well, but all those Lane Staley albums are, are classics. Amazing stuff. Okay, number seven. One of my favorite bands of all time, Strange Highways from uh, Dio. Really solid album from Dio. I love this album. Uh, Jesus, Mary, and the Holy Ghost. That's a great song. Um, this title song is great. Evolution. I, I love this album. <laughs> But, you know, I love all Dio. Ronnie James Dio can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. This is a great album. It's not quite as good as, you know, everything up to Dream Evil, but it's really good. Excellent. Number six, one of my favorite by this artist. This is The Last Temptation from Alice Cooper. Amazing record. This somehow slipped by me back when it was out. And uh, my friend JC from Florida sent me this, and I'm very happy he did. And the funny thing is, even after, you know, I recognize almost all the songs. I think I might've owned it at one point and I forgot about it, but this is great. Um, you know, Lost in America is amazing. Um, Stolen Prayer, Unholy Wars, one of the heaviest Alice Cooper songs ever. This is an amazing record, love it. Number five, the third album by uh, another one of my favorite bands. This is Pissed from Dangerous Toys. Man, I love this album. This is my second favorite Dangerous Toys album. Um, it's right after the first one for me, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Screaming for More is my favorite on here, but you know, Pain Train and Strange and Hard Luck Champion, amazing record. Love this album, Dangerous Toys at number five. Number four, one of the most underrated records of all time. Amazing album and doesn't get the credit it deserves. Self-titled Motley Crue with John Karabi on vocals. This album is one of their best uh, for any album they ever did. You know, stuff like, um, you know, Poison Apples and Uncle Jack are amazing songs. Uh, Dropping Like Flies and Smoke the Sky. Love it. Um, Power to the Music. Hooligans Holidays, great. Misunderstood. Amazing vocals by John Karabi. And uh, they kind of changed the Motley sound on this. Amazing, amazing record. Love that album so much. And number three. Need to get this on vinyl. I do have it on picture disc, but it's up on my wall there. But this is Euthanasia from Megadeth. Love this album too. Another underrated Megadeth album. Um, you know, it came out after they had a string of great albums. Peace Cells, Rest in Peace, um, Countdown to Extinction. And then this is just right up there with them. When you look back at this record, it really holds up well. You know, To Le Monde, uh, Train of Consequences is great. Yeah, every song on this is really good. Reckoning Day, love the, I love that opening track. Just an amazing record from Megadeth. Need to find a regular vinyl version of that. Okay, so my top two. And this is actually my second favorite album by this band, but it is a masterpiece. It's Super Unknown from Soundgarden. Absolutely phenomenal album. It's got like a million songs on it. Well, you know, at least 15. And you know, great songs like Black Hole Sun and My Wave and Fell on Black Days and The Day I Tried to Live, Fourth of July. Just every song on here is amazing. Chris Cornell was just uh, at the height of his game on this. And there's the track list. But Super Unknown from Soundgarden, my number two. Which leaves at my number one. And people that watch my channel, a lot of them might be guessing this. Welcome to Sky Valley from Caius. What an amazing album. This is very unique and very, you know, just kind of influential. It's it's in three movements. And so you buy it on, cassette, on CD and it's in three parts. It doesn't break down all the songs. But it's, you know, it's got like all these different weird sounds. And then it's got like a killer space cadet, which is a, almost like an acoustic thing. Demon Cleaner, amazing song. Every song on this is amazing. I love Gardenia and Asteroid, just that heavy, grungy style. Uh, killer stoner metal at the be at its best. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal record. Welcome to Sky Valley from Caius, number one. So there we go. That's my uh, 25 of 1994. I'll be on to 95 next. And um, I don't know how many I'll have in there. We'll see. Everyone have a great day. I will see you later.